The reasons that I bought long-term care insurance, number one reason for me is choice. I would say second is freedom. Third is so that I have time to breathe when that period comes along and I need help, I can breathe. Um, fourth would be security. And the fifth would really be to protect the assets that I have. Through long-term care insurance then, one with a special kind of asset, such as the family cottage or family cabin, and they want to ensure that that stays in the family from generation to generation, by purchasing long-term care insurance, they don't have the risk of losing that asset by having to reduce it before they qualify for government benefits. My sons are the fifth generation, my grandson's the sixth generation. They have an interest in continuing the farm for generations to come and to maintain this farm is what uh, is probably a big push and why I was interested in it. It's not just the dollar value of the farm as Harlan talked about, that is one piece of it, but it's the heritage and it's the sentimentalness of the fourth, fifth, sixth generation of this Anderson family farm that was homesteaded in 1871. And that's what I believe I feel needs to be protected. We are partners and um, uh, we, do, we cannot at this time depend on Social Security because of federal regulations. Um, health insurance we can depend on a little bit. Um, however, that's why we chose to go to long-term care. I took the details of the cost in light of the whole picture of all of our assets and what we want to do with our assets and um, the fact that my biggest uh, concern was not spending all the money that I have worked so hard for on just health. You can't depend on a Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security being there or even covering uh, what needs to be taken care of. So you need to have your own program in place. My spouse and I decided to purchase long-term care for several reasons. One, to protect our estate, because the, lo the kind of long-term care we did purchase has a, a, a state protection clause in it. And uh, if anything happens to one of us, we want the other person to be able to keep the house. There's 10-year age difference between us. Um, and so uh, as far as protecting our assets, um, that does come into play um, as far as having those assets available uh, after I retire, but also then at the time she does. As our children grow, they may not necessarily live even as close to 100 miles from us. And so we can't assume that they're going to be there, and nor do I want to burden them with that. And so um, I want to take charge and make some decisions so that we can live as independently as possible without being a burden on anyone else. I've got two sons, and we ne can't necessarily rely on them to take care of us when we get older. So long-term care to me is an excellent option to take care of that. Me and my sisters got together and uh, decided that we need to cover our dad's risk uh, in case he got sick. And, uh, and sure enough, he was a hard worker, he had been a smoker, he did get sick, and uh, he needed the care. There were people coming to the house to help him with his daily regimen, uh, cleaning, walking, taking his medication and meals. So we really appreciated having had that. The insurance allowed me to spend father-daughter time with my dad instead of caregiver time, and that was precious to me. One of the many things I did for my parents was take care of their finances, and it was a tremendous relief every time I opened that $6,000 bill from the assisted living facility to know that that check from the long-term care company was going to be in the checking account in the next couple of days. And it's also a relief to know that we've taken steps to provide that relief for our daughter too in the event something should happen to us. There is dignity in having some coverage. So down the road you don't have to rely on strangers to take care of you and you don't have to rely on the state to take care of you. One of the features I liked about the policy is that it would pay for the cost of my care wherever I decided I wanted to receive my care. So if I could stay in my home as long as possible that would be wonderful if I could transition then to a care facility, I was the one who was choosing the care facility. It wouldn't be the government deciding what care facility I need to go to.
So I started looking at long-term care insurance about five years ago. My sister was diagnosed with Huntington's disease and my mother had Huntington's disease. And so I knew that if I wanted more choice in my care, I had to pay attention to how I was planning for my long-term care needs. I did end up purchasing long-term care insurance for both myself and my spouse. Uh, because of his size, you know, I do worry that I will not be able to provide the kind of care he's going to need when time comes. I would say maintaining a person's dignity is the absolute most important benefit of any long-term care insurance policy. Long-term care insurance will give us the options we need when we get older to handle some but not all of our, all of our needs. As I get older, or either one of us, and we uh, have more health issues, hopefully with this we can now use it for home care. If you choose to go into a nursing home, it, it, you can use it for that, but you can certainly choose to stay home and they'll actually have a, mem a health member come in periodically. It affords us our freedom uh, in the old age. Uh, we will have choices between assisted living homes, nursing homes, staying at home, or wherever we choose to be, and it will be provided to us. This is not just nursing home insurance. This is for people that uh, probably aren't going to end up in a nursing home, but need some care, can have a really good life, uh, quality of life in their own home, but can get some assistance. And so probably a correction I would make in the idea of long-term care is that it isn't just nursing home insurance, it's long-term care someplace. Long-term care is one of those products that you should buy as soon as you can. It's more affordable the younger you are. People wonder why they ought to get long-term care insurance earlier rather than later in life, and I can tell you that I got it at 47, age 47, and I was quite surprised how small my investment really is, it, especially if you compare it to what assisted living costs today, what it's going to cost tomorrow. And I know those prices are only going to go up, so what I'm investing right now is pretty minimal compared to what I'd have to lay out if I didn't have the policy. It was cheaper than I expected it to be because I bought it at, uh, at an age when I was in my early 40s. Um, so that afforded the opportunity to have a very good policy of insurance in place which gave me peace of mind. I looked at my own long-term care, I'm thinking I'm 53 now, and yes, it's young to be getting into a policy, but really, no, because I look at what the cost is, multiplied by the number of years that, you know, that I'll be paying for it, and by the time I will use it, I will probably use all that up and then some. I think once you're educated to what's going on out there in terms of long-term care um, and, your need, and, 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 and the costs that are going to be there when you get older and start needing help, I think you're going to see if you can make a move. And of course, it's best to make a move when you're younger. When we made this decision, we were in our 50s and our health was fabulous. I think too many times people think, this isn't going to affect me, it's not going to happen to me, and so they put it off. And finally when they start realizing, you know, I should be checking into some long-term care, they probably got health issues that either doesn't make it affordable or they don't qualify. We want to purchase long-term care when it's affordable to us. And so many times our agent told us, you'd rather be 10 years too early rather than five minutes too late. The peace of mind that long-term care insurance gives me is that there's a large part of my health needs already protected and taken care of so that if I need that long-term care, if I need the homemakers to come in or if I need to be in assisted living, I've got someone, a policy, something paying for that. Sometimes people think there are other safety nets that will take care of them when, when they get older or are impaired in some way, but they aren't nearly as effective or as reliable as a lot of people believe. When you buy long-term care insurance, you've kind of taken that and put it in your own control so that you can rely on it. Long-term care insurance gives us a sense of security as well as peace of mind knowing that it's in place and there when we need it. It, it dawned on me that I, I, I can buy long-term care insurance for other family members as well. And that's a really great gift to provide to people, the gift of dignity, autonomy, good care. That's a really wonderful, special gift to provide to a family member.
I think people tend to think of long-term care solely in terms of aging, nursing homes, assisted living, that sort of thing. But there are a number of people who are using their long-term care payments to cover their care as a result of an accident or another illness, and, and they're not elderly at all. So that it's an additional peace of mind in that event as well. I think it's important that you find the package that fits you like any uh, insurance policy. Uh, it isn't a one-fits-all. You need to find a one and develop the one that fits you. We do a lot of things and make sure that, uh, that, that our present risks are covered. Uh, but at the same time, nobody's guaranteed anything. Who is going to pay for our care when we get older? It, when I'm looking at who's paying for it now, things are changing so rapidly in this field of housing and nursing care. I don't know who's going to pay for it. I honestly don't. So we better take care of ourselves. And the best way to do that is to get long-term care insurance. I would definitely recommend long-term care insurance to my friends and I would recommend it sooner than later.